Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, one of our master club fitters. Today we're outside and um, we're trying out the new Ping Glide 3.0 wedges. Thomas, really excited about these. They look a little bit different. They got kind of a cavity back design, maybe a little bit more forgiving just yep. by looking at them. Um, what are your initial thoughts here, uh, both after we've obviously got to hit some shots, both from the rough, from the bunker, from you know chip shots, fuller swings. Um, what are just some of your initial takeaways? So the Ping 3.0 has a very soft elastomer in, in the back here. Also, I think that combined with the 431 stainless steel has really helped have that really soft feel off mm -hmm. the club face. I really noticed that hitting shots around the green, especially on those kind of shorter shots that we're just kind of trying to finesse up mm -hmm. there. Great feedback off the club face is one thing I really, For really, sure. really notice. What about you? Is there anything that you notice yeah. with, with these clubs that you really yeah. like the look of or the feel of? Or Well, I got, I got a comment on the looks first. Uh, beautiful finish and then I also, you know, there is the cavity back look which um, the standard wedge you might say um, is kind of more of a blade model, um, kind of not really built with that forgiveness in the back. Um, but when you look down at these, you don't notice at all the, the cavity. It yeah, looks you, like a standard wedge, even a more compact uh, shape. So. It really feels and looks like you're playing one of those standard wedge shapes. So, uh, for players that maybe do prefer that shape, you're not even going to notice um, kind of the forgiveness that is packed in the back. So, I really like that a lot. Plus, um, I know both of us hit some shots from the rough, and I thought these things, you know, they they glide, no pun intended, <laughs> through the rough pretty well. I, I thought you hit some really nice ones from the rough back there as well. And um, that I, I mean, I know when I hit these shots from the rough, it's and definitely an upgrade from what I'm playing here. Yeah, we were playing around with the, the wide saw when we were hitting those shots out of the rough. The fact that the wide saw is a little more forgiving, yeah. think bounces your friend, yeah. was able to, like you said, glide through through yeah. the rough. Um, that was really, it was really interesting, really forgiving. Like you said, forgiving wedge, but looks very clean on the eye yeah. looking down at it. Like you see, you don't see any of that cavity look, kind of nice top thin line, just like yeah. you normally see out of kind of a traditional wedge. So mm -hmm. really looked really good. And then I also, I also have to comment on the spin because um, even, you know, I hit some bunker shots that I have never, you know, gotten the spin out of the golf ball that I did with these wedges. Look at that spin. These grooves have been refined. They're a little deeper. Um, and then they also kind of progressively designed so that they are a little bit wider in those higher lofts so that, you know, when you're around the green, you're going to get more spin. And then those full shots, you get a bit more of your control as well. Um, on those lower lofts. So I thought, you know, again, very impressed with both the spin, technology, shape, they really performed. They felt really good. They looked really good. Yeah. They spun, were able to control it. Yeah, we were hitting on some softer conditions, so we had a little bit of rain yeah. overnight. Oh, yeah. But like you said, you've never been able to step in the boil of the sand before. We saw a lot of shots that you hit today that checked out really yeah. nicely by the flag. So, yeah. And then I think lastly, we should comment too on this grip. Um, they've got a custom grip on these. And um, the idea is that for those who like to choke down a little bit on shots, I know Thomas, you do that quite a bit. Um, it gives you a little bit more grip instead of gripping on the shaft um, on those choke down chip shots. And I know you hit a lot of those today and the results are pretty solid for you. I believe it is now three quarters of an inch longer. So it allows you to obviously grip down on it if you're trying to finesse a shot around the green, hit it like a little chip and run or something like that where you don't have to hold it way up way too high. Yep. Um, so I liked it a lot because sometimes when I do that I would almost be touching the steel. Right. So it gave me just that little bit of more, I guess more surface area there to have yeah. my hands on and feel like I still could control the, the club face to hit a little chip and run. Yeah that's all about you know improving the feel in these wedges both with you know the soft um, you know feel at impact but also just the feel in your hands um, on those chip shots like you were mentioning there. But um, again, this is a, uh, an excellent club packed with really anything you can want out of a wedge. You have their forgiveness on those full swings with the, the cavity back design. You have the soft feel, the soft stainless, stainless steel uh, construction plus the elastomer in the back. Um, I mean, this is really anything you could want in a wedge, right? Really, really forgiving, really easy to hit, but soft, traditional looking wedge for yeah. easy on the eye. So. Oh, definitely. Yep. Well, golfers, if you're interested in the Ping Glide 3.0, um, any of the balance options, uh, I would suggest that you either stop into a second swing store or schedule a fitting online with a fitter uh, like Thomas Campbell here and uh, definitely get you fit for, again, one of the premier wedges now available on the market.